Hey, it's Eric here at Peachtree Classic Cars. We've got a 1954 Mercury Lowrider. I'm gonna call it a driving project. The engine runs great. In fact, the intake was just replaced. New carburetor, uh, transmission service that shifts perfectly. The brakes work great. The headlights, taillights, brake lights, and turn signals are all functioning. So this is a driving vehicle. Starter drag just a touch. Not unlike many uh, old 350 V8s, so it's got a Chevrolet uh, drivetrain with a uh, small block Chevy V8, uh, turbo 350 automatic transmission. I believe that's a Camaro rear end. Automatic, we're gonna take it for a quick drive. steering of course steering very very straight down the road so this car is on air ride when we get out of the car you'll see it sits at factory height and then we can lower it down with the air ride and so this is an older primitive air ride system I'll show you here in just a sec this just older primitive air ride system but I did um, the last time we had an Impala a few years back just got on a uh, air ride looked on Google I think we found I can't remember a couple different air ride places that uh, just got the whole new kit it's already got the bags so you just get the electronics it's already got uh, air compressors in the back and everything so Squeaking back here. Oh. So we've got the air compressors in the back, air tank that's functional right now. Then we have two additional air tanks that didn't get hooked up left and right, which if it was me, I'd just hook these up with, this, with these two air compressors. Um, as long as I'm back here in the trunk. Also, some spare parts. This is the original tail light to go or the can't remember exactly how that's supposed to fit into the whole situation there or if they changed that rear bumper out anyway it's some ex nice expensive tail lights there and a couple of extra bezels not a whole lot of extra parts to this but a couple there in the trunk and I don't normally do a trunk inspection first but underneath these boxes are uh, floor pan has been replaced factory uh, fuel gate tank was taken out. This fuel cell is in here right now. I think to make room to make it lower Put this back. So the trunk lat the other thing is is everything's been shaved so the trunk latch is actually right here for now So again another primitive option that was put on this uh, That I would upgrade or I mean you can use it as you like but right now we're reaching in here to cl close the trunk and then the door handles have been shaved on the outside so which looks cool the poppers right now are inside the door under here you push those and they pop the door open there's no springs on them or anything so that was another thing that i thought would be kind of cool to do to uh finish it off hood pops nicely this is a California car, by the way. Actually came with California plates on it when we got it. And I uh, picked this up from a guy who just wasn't able to finish the project. Um, medical issues. But thankfully he at least sent it to the shop where they got the engine uh, running great. I mean, it, I believe he had said that they pulled it. I know the intake for sure is new. And it's been serviced. New, brand new Edelbrock carburetor. Like I said, we've got power steering. 
uh, power, power brakes, and I believe power disc brakes here. Of course, the inner fender wells have been taken out. And I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna shut it off. Well, first let me, uh, let me rev it up so you can hear it. it sounds awesome. Love the way the engine sounds. Really, really nice. Classic. So, inner fender wells have been taken out, of course, to make room for the car to be lowered. I'm trying to get the camera to adjust there. Uh, what I was saying, California automobile here. So, rack and pinion steering was upgraded in the front. Um, expecting very, very minimal rust. It's to find very, very minimal rust on this car. So we had actually gotten this car thinking we might want to keep it and turn it into what I was going to call a little Mexi mobile where my family's uh, Hispanic and we thought it would be fun to put Mexican blankets on the inside and it's a low rider. So that'd be kind of cool. I actually just ordered the, uh, the hubcaps that go the baby moons. They're the eight and three quarter inch that go inside these old Chevrolet wheels because the front and rear hubs have all and everything has been changed out to, to Chevrolet. So the body on this is really straight it's got primer and um, i know that there's a few rust spots here and there i was saying california car when we walk around it and get right up on it there's just a few little spots here and there just a little dent a little you know surface rust here overall this fender looks really good hood is in good shape it's nice and straight got some body crack here I will say I couldn't say how much Bondo may or may not be in this car to be fair to it um, when people shave door handles and when you get a car like this it's more of a project I would expect to find some Bondo on it I think that's just a fair thing to say doesn't look like a Bondo bucket I haven't found any big globs um, but you know the this has been shaved and redone to, to, to be molded around and then this one on this side the, re, the driver's side rear bumper is completely painted so I'm not exactly sure what people were trying to accomplish here. Of course, we've got the new lights and I think they were thinking about putting that on. Love the fender skirts. So again, I don't want to scare anybody about talking about Bondo. That's always like a naughty word to use, but at the same time, I'd rather say something than nothing. The top on this is amazing. Drip rails are in great shape. A couple of tiny little bubbles right here. underneath the car California style very clean rockers are in incredible condition this is all steel this is the original wheat poles the big car I'm extending all the way down original undercoating this car has not been pressure washed or painted underneath to hide anything floor pans look like they're in great shape obviously some things have been cut to uh, accommodate the raising and lowering of a low rider. You can see back here, of course, like this, the original floor pan being cut out with the original tank being removed so that the air ride could be put in. That was just the call that somebody else made. So we got some crusties under here. That is actually not rust. That is the original undercoating and right underneath it, nice solid steel. Somebody did cut the back of this piece out too. You can see that this is cut and rounded. original wheat poles. I mean, this thing is in incredibly solid condition. So I know I mentioned the word rest a couple times earlier. I'm seeing a little surface spots here and there that I was showing you, but these rockers, I mean, original wheat poles, somebody obviously jacked up on the car at some point here. That's pretty common, but look at these rockers. This is, to me, this is the number one proof that I'm looking for when I'm looking to see if I think I got a West Coast automobile. Again, on this side, same thing. Floor pans look great. I mean, aside from the couple of little spots that I showed you guys earlier, I mean, when it comes to the undercarriage, 
I would call this a rust-free car. Actually, the gentleman that I picked this car up from, he said, it's a rust-free car. He said it a few times, rust-free. It came from California. So you see these little spots here that I'm being picky about. So right now we're opening the door by reaching inside. One thing I love too, no posts on this uh, Monterey. Seat cover is actually not in terrible condition. It's got a couple of little spots here that were patched by somebody. But like I said, I was going to go, I wanted to go the affordable route with this car. I was going to order some poppers for it, get online for the air ride uh, with the air ride company. Oh, the headliner looks great. And just piecemeal it, you know, the, the inside lights, replace those. I was going to put a Mexican blanket on it. Get the stereo hooked up. Just drive it. And uh, put the electric poppers, like I said. A few little details, so. Let me uh, see if I can, man, it is 90 something degrees out here in this August Georgia heat. What I wanted to do is lower this down. Let's see if I can do it without it cranked or not. I'll lower that down. You can see that the air pressure has gone down. So now we got it sitting in the back. Kind of cool, low in the front, high in the back. As soon as I pop that, it pops right back up. And you can hear the air compressors come back on. Well, there you have it. I'm uh, almost at 12 minutes, so I don't want to go too long. This is a super cool 54 Mercury Monterey, and uh, you can drive it just like it is on air ride and tinker with it. This is what I call like a what I like to call like my driving sh driving project. Make a great uh, fall or winter project. I would. I mean, it's getting cooler already. Not today, but it's starting to get cooler. <laughs> and uh, a car like this is ready for fall and uh, ready to be enjoyed. So give us a call. It's PeachtreeClassicCars.com.